Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films, and today we're going to talk about Joy Porter. So, as you can hear, there's some things going on. The, the website and everything is under construction. So, disregard that hard work that's going on outside and just focus, lock in on this film. Let's talk about Joy Porter Jr.'s combine numbers before we get into the film. Uh, ran a 448, uh, vert 35 inches, broad jump 10 feet 9 inches, prospect grade of 6.43. Um, I think it's out of eight. So if your eight will be a perfect score as far as prospect grade. Um, when we do receivers, they'll have combine numbers plus some other stuff. But for DBs, we just going to have the combine numbers because the, the stats that I would like to pull up don't necessarily really match. But uh, Joy, Joy Porter Jr., long, lengthy, uh, look great at times. You know, very few times that I see him like not look good, but – Forget all what I see. Let's just let's see what the fam shows. Run the intro. All right, again, welcome back to the channel. And before we get into it, let's take care of a few housekeeping things. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe and then hit the bell so you can be notified when they randomly drop, especially throughout this 2023 draft season. Um, again, if you don't know, we're kind of moving away from some of the YouTube issues because of, you know, uncertainty. So if you are a member, please considering consider changing that membership to a Patreon membership. That's where a lot of stuff is going to start being on Patreon. Like you, the raw version of these videos will be on Patreon uh, when I get a chance to like just watch them live. And you can kind of talk through them with me, kind of make your suggestions. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Brandon and uh, Jared and, and somebody else was in there with me watching film. And, you know, I kind of take their suggestions into consideration with what I think. So if you want to be in that number when when they come up. Please join the Patreon so you can get the link. And when I go live and just watch them to get the grades, you'll be there watching it with me. So that's that part of it. And let's get into the film. Highlight at the bottom of your screen. This And this is versus Ohio State 2021 with all of the guys out there with uh, JSN, with um, Garrett, with uh, Olave. This is with all of them. Smooth in the transition with the switch. Ball's in the air. Makes a play on it. Gets rid of uh, Chris Olave and makes a play on it. Is it a flag? Mm, maybe. Again, didn't didn't bite on the switch right, right here. Stay, stay true to his cover three. I'm going to run with the vertical. Ball's in the air now. I'm going to go make a play. See if I can get it. And that's not a flag because he just failed. Made a play on the ball. It's a good job. Again, don't disregard the banging. Lock in on the front side of my voice. Got a little man coverage up there. Perfect position. Got a little pull. Got a little grabby. But look at him run JSN down. And we know JSN didn't run at the combine. But he ran him down. Again, the coverage. Lockdown on the coverage. On Olave, I think. Then JSN makes a catch, breaks a tackle. Now he's a good about seven, eight yards away. Watch how fast he closes his gap. Ten yards. Twenty yards. Thirty yards. On the ground. Let's go to the next one. This is great man on man coverage versus Garrett Wilson, who won a rookie of the year. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Garrett Wilson won Rook of the Year. Great man on man coverage at the top of your screen. And then was kind of off, off, um, caught off guard because of the snap infraction, because of all sides by his own teammate. So good job of recovering. Got his hands on him. In phase, when he looked for the ball, he looked for the ball. When, when Wilson looked for the ball, he looked for it. Put himself in a position to knock it away. Great job. Great job of goal line coverage. Now, this is 
last this is 2022 with um this past college football season and i honestly think he had a better game 2021 with all them guys on the team than he had this year but look look at this and the reason this player is on here because his backpedaling stuff is textbook boop 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 open up transition tech that's teach tape right there that's teach tape watch it seamless over them hips transition speed cut seamless Young DBs, young DBs, seamless, right on top of uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> Two legacies going against each other, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Joy Porter Jr. Got a little man coverage at the bottom. And this is one of the few times I think he's he was kind of beat. But still, even though he was kind of beat, that ain't bad position. Because they got to be a perfect throw because look how wide the receiver is. There's not a lot of room for him to throw this ball. And so, yeah, he if he throw it perfectly, he'll get caught on it, but that's not bad coverage. That's using the sideline to help you out. But what I don't like about it is Marvin Harrison Jr. really didn't give him a real move. That was That move was kind of elementary he just slapped his hands and tried to outrun him but then again that's two dudes going against each other so they probably battled all game that's two dudes going against each other i'm saying let off man attack it love it split it and attack it see the bubble screen coming attack it be the aggressive one I'm going to tell you a secret. I've coached receivers for a long, long time. Unless they get in the ball, they really don't like blocking on this play. They really don't. That's why when you see Ravens and some of the other teams, they take tight ends and put them out here. Because the receivers don't really like blocking on this. And there's a perfect example right there. Just be aggressive. If you be aggressive and bring it to them, they, they really don't want to block you. That was a piss poor F about four. He, he'd have to come out the game for me. No block, no rock. No block, no rock. Now versus Michigan. Michigan, I'm gonna tell you this about Michigan. And this is this game is I tweeted a picture from this game last week. Michigan had about 300 yards rushing this game, so they wasn't throwing it much. They didn't throw it much at all. But look, I like the way he come up and set that edge and tackle though. I think I got the end zone view of this one. He ain't afraid to come up, set that edge and tackle. Boom. Love it. And again, if you if you missed the first part of it, the construction going on, so disregard the, the nailing, the hammering, and the sawing, and all that good stuff. It's all good. Everything's okay. Just see if you want to. He the edge setter. He the last man on the edge right there. So he got to keep his outside shoulder free, and he got to avoid big 77. Good job of avoiding the tackle and making the tackle. It's a great football play. It's a great football play. Versus Purdue. Now, this is the game I watched, and this is when I discovered um, 15 for Purdue. That, and, and he ended up being at the um, combine. 15 is good. 15 is good. Now, he got him locked up right there. Joel Port got him locked up. 15 still caught this ball. I don't know how. Porter did everything correct, but catch the ball. Everything correct, but catch the ball. Watch. So, he, first of all, he cut him off. Cut him off right there. Put hands on him. Slowed him down. Now, can't can't keep holding him because there's a flag. So, let him go. Let him continue on his crossing route. Trail position. Great trail position. See the ball out. Now, he's going to accelerate. Get in front of him. Try to catch it. But 15 still catches it. That's crazy. He did everything right. But 15 just, it, again, and I'm going to keep saying it. Sometimes good offense will be good defense. And you see him on the right side of your screen right here. See, so he, he cut him off. Now you got to let him go because you can't just, just ride him. So now you're running this crossing route. You see the feet. Now look at him. Accelerate and get in front of him. All you do is catch the ball. 
15 got them hands though. And then like when we was doing it, oh Jose did it. I kept talking about 15 doing the live stream. Jose went and looked up his stats. Kid had over 100 catches for Purdue. I know this is Joy, Joy Porter Jr. film. I was just telling you like some of the perks of of going to Patreon, of joining the Patreon and watching film with me. Because Jose was watching us with this. I think this was Friday night, maybe. At the top versus the same kid. Mm, again, everything perfect. Perfect in cover two. First, first rule of cover two, don't let the receiver get out here in this no man's land. Let me put it up on the screen. You cannot let the receiver get out here. You just can't. And if you do, you got to force him inside. Because if you don't, then this, this safety here is in no man's land. He can't get over top fast enough. He won't be able to get over here to help you out if you if you allow him to go outside. So you got to force him inside. So he does that, forces him inside. Now, comes off on the out route. You see this out route breaking right here? He sees it because it's tough cover two. Eyes in the perfect position. Just catch the ball. All you got to do is just catch the ball. Perfectly played cover two. Perfectly. Just got to catch the ball. You got two more. Coming in motion versus Purdue. Good job. Good job. Using your hands to get off the block. Push one. Push two. Great job. Now, a terrible job by the, the, by the dude running the ball. You're supposed to run off the whoever your blockers, but that's a terrible job by him. But good job by Porter by setting that edge, too. Setting that edge and getting in there and make the tackle. That's high football IQ right there. And that's not being scared to tackle, too. Part of it. That's not being scared to tackle. Being a willing tackler. Let's run this last one from, from the Purdue game. Look at that. Just sit down. I'm, I'm tired of you trying to run these routes on me. Just sit down. I'm going to jam you up. You can't go nowhere. You have to play. And just walk off. <laughs> and just walk off. Let's get to his number. Let's get to his uh, his score. All right, taking a look at the scores. And again, everything is out of 80. Uh, IQ, Joy Porter Jr. had a 72. Play speed, 75. Ball skill, 77. Man, ver in man coverage, 70. And zone coverage, 79. So that gives him to a total of 74.6, which puts him two points, not two points, two tenths of a point behind Christian Gonzalez as my number two corner in this session, even though we've only done two corners so far. So again, uh, Joy Porter's final score is 74.2. I'm sorry, 74.6. I'm sorry, you see it on the screen. And uh, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And again, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe so you can be here when these random videos drop and hit that bell so you'll know when they drop. And again, I appreciate you guys. Um, more videos coming up later on in the week. And again, check out more Sip the Tattler 2 for more draft content. And this is Coach Evans. And as for me and the rest of the crew, the construction crew that is, we out.